Hello and welcome back to another exciting session. I'm your host Mahesh Karya. You're watching me on YouTube now. And in this today's session, I'm gonna take you through AppRight. So if you haven't heard about AppRight, so this is uh, something that is alternative of Firebase and which is an open source by the way. So I'm really, really excited to share this uh, experience with you. So it is still in beta, but uh, I have found a uh, nice uh, documentation and we are going going to install this thing in our local system and I'm gonna show you each and everything from scratch so without wasting any time let's deep dive into it so I'm gonna search for app right and uh, I need to connect to my internet give me one minute here we go this is done and let me search quickly so uh, this is very first link appright.io where you can see all the documentation is given. So I'm going to hit this get started and where we will get this Docker installation. So make sure you have to install Docker. So uh, uh, there are lots of things running in a background like uh, their databases, there are all the infrastructure. So that's why we need a Docker in order to run this thing. And so for that, you have to have Docker available. So make sure to install docker from here on docker desktop and simply click here on install desktop which is available for all the systems so you can install for windows for mac and for linux as well okay after that let's go to the bash and once you start your docker you just need to hit this command in your terminal and after that it will take a while if you are using this for the very first time to grab the images and after that it will ask for the default port which is 80 that i'm going to hit enter and your https port which is going to be 403 okay and after that you can make your key so my default key is my chat123 you can like uh, change uh, according to your choice after that hit enter enter your app right host name so you might be hosting on some ec2 instance or digital ocean so you can change it according to the ip address okay so for now it's on localhost after that you can choose the default uh uh thing uh host name which is again uh localhost and this is it now the docker compose is running and it's going to take time uh for the first time of course so i did this uh procedure uh, before as well that's why it's not taking time because i already have all the images which was required for this docker compose to up uh, in a background so after that you will need this docker extension so simply search for docker and hit enter so you will get this nice little uh, extension which is powered by microsoft and once you click here you can see all the things containers are running over here now only step is remaining to go to localhost colon 80 which is not required by the way and here we go so uh this is my account okay and this is uh where i have started with all the things and uh, i'm doing this for the like second time that's why all the setup is done already but if you are doing this for the first time what it will do it will uh show you the Kind of a sign up screen where you need to sign up by using name email and password after that you just need to create uh, your user if you want uh, like in here in uh, you can create new project if you want like let me name it youtube okay and after that uh, it's going to uh, you can see uh, the kind of familiar like ui as uh, like uh, if you guys are familiar with firebase so all the things that we do there are uh, like uh, storage uh, you can create your buckets like uh, s3 buckets let's say not s3 but whatever the bucket name you can provide here you can define the file size you can enable encryption and all the things you can uh, do on your own then you will get this id over here okay then users where you can manually create your teams or with using the documentation you can create the user same as login with gmail password we do there in firebase so uh that's the, it's still in beta but there are lots of things are coming and in database you can create your database just name it let's say mahesh 
and here we go so like the way you can create your database side as well you can add your connection or name or whatever it may be and you can do the things uh, accordingly you will get this collection id over here then uh, you will have this indexes activity usage all the things the graphical user interface that you will get here then webhooks that you can create over here the functions the cloud functions that you can create over here and now uh, it's time to see the documentation and here if you click here on get started you will get this uh, very first window after that you can click here this is available for flutter so, or like uh, for the js and lots of other things okay uh, so here you can see this is nice uh, beautiful documentation is given uh, like for the wave i'm going to choose here click on wave after that you can see the code which is the dependency app right uh, you can like if you are using npm then if you are a node developer you can use this thing or uh, it doesn't matter from which uh, background you are coming from this is a kind of sdk available for many languages and uh, here are the examples are given uh, so live example uh, which will so if we are a front-end developer this is also useful for you guys like if you are a back-end developer this will kind of uh, minimal code that you need to write in order to make it alive okay so this is a really very really cool thing that is coming in a while so uh, in digital ocean this is uh, available now uh, with the one click install so of course this is good news uh, if you guys are familiar with the digital ocean and the installation guide we gone through it already okay and let's go to the github so where you will see already 24k stars uh, here so it means it's uh, going to be popular in a while but uh, let's see i'm going to create a mini videos on app right in a future but uh, this is it for this tutorial and uh, thank you so much all of you guys for being with me supporting me all the time it's been a pleasure to be here don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't already smash that like button and uh, you can use this thanks button as well in order to support our channel so thank you so much have a good day bye, -bye.